All right now at six, the fight against access to abortion continues. A team of state attorneys are now pushing back against the distribution of abortion pills. In Queen City News, Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young joining us live here in the studio. Taylor, one of those attorney generals now taking action is from the Palmetto State, where abortion is still legal. So what is he trying to prevent? Yeah, Alicia, Attorney General Alan Wilson is one of 20 chief legal advisors pushing back on retail pharmacies for requesting to send doctor-prescribed abortion pills by mail. Now, at the same time, a legal advocacy group has filed a lawsuit in Texas to ban abortion drugs nationwide. Now, those on the other side of the aisle are calling this effort a violation of reproductive rights. Abortion by pill, the most common form of eliminating a pregnancy in the U.S., is now the new battleground for reproductive rights. We really don't know the effect of them. Republican lawmakers, state attorneys, and legal advocacy groups fighting to limit their reach. Chemical abortion drugs are dangerous, and they should never have been allowed on the market. The Alliance Defending Freedom is questioning the FDA's recent decision to allow retail pharmacies to send patients abortion pills by mail. The group is part of a lawsuit asking a federal judge in Texas to reverse that approval nationwide. The FDA has a responsibility to protect the health, the safety, and the welfare of Americans, women, and girls. But when it comes to chemical abortion drugs, they have failed that responsibility. In South Carolina, Attorney General Alan Wilson sent a letter to CVS and Walgreens executives threatening legal consequences. In a statement, he said in part, the Supreme Court made it clear it's up to the states to decide how to best protect unborn children and women. He continued by saying, that's why I'm letting these companies know that we will do everything we can to uphold the law if it's broken. Everybody should be able to get an abortion in their community, just like any other health care. Following the lawsuit and letters to pharmacy execs, Democrats and pro-choice advocates are pushing for more legislation that they argue would ultimately protect reproductive rights. No government and no politician has any place interfering in the decision between a woman and her family and her faith and her doctor. Now, to be clear, the abortion pill is not Plan B. Depending on the state, patients can be prescribed medication abortion up to 11 weeks of pregnancy. Brian. Taylor, thank you.